there, Beth Christie with you. And if you are tired of looking at snow accumulations because you're seeing them outside of your own window and you run out of ideas to do with the kids, I have an idea for you. Simple ingredients might be some fun and you'll be ready for St. Patrick's Day. So come on, join I'm me. I'm gonna show you how you can make St. Patrick's Day cards or banners or decorations with just plain paper, any kind of markers you may have. Yes, a potato and paint, whether you have, as you've seen this well-loved finger painting paint or some of the regular acrylic paint, or if you have food coloring, using just this and, and wait, oh yeah, this, I'm going to show you how you can make a St. Patrick's Day stamp with this and decorate with the kids. So here we go. So the first thing you're going to do is get a potato, some type of a cutting board, and a sharp knife. Obviously, this is for adults to do, um, older children, um, younger kids get to have fun once you cut the potato, so I feel like I need to say that. So, any potato, it doesn't have to be huge, it can be an old, yicky one, well, not too yicky, but you take the potato and you simply cut it in half, easy enough. Set one half aside. Now, before we start drawing this out, remember... It's not perfect. Shamrocks are not perfect, and this doesn't have to be either. So what you're going to do is on this side of the potato is you're going to kind of cut out the outline of what a shamrock would be. And let me kind of show you a little bit of my idea of a shamrock. So all you're going to do is, you know, a shamrock, you can make it have four leaves. You can make it have three. It doesn't matter. You're just going to go around and just kind of get the outline of what you want the leaves to look like. Again, you don't need to worry that this is perfect. It doesn't need to be. You can kind of have fun. All right, so we've got that leaf, which I know is hard to see, and this leaf, and then we'll do the stem. The next part is, I don't know if you can see, once you can kind of see your outlines, you then take the knife and you cut away so that your leaves and the stem are all raised. You get the idea. You just keep doing that around the potato. So eventually you will end up with this. As you can see, there's the design with the three leaves and a little bit of a stem. This is where you obviously hang on to it. You can make it bigger for smaller hands. It, it all depends, but this becomes your rubber stamp. All right, let's get the paints ready and I'll show you. It doesn't matter whatever color green you have, leaf green, there's a, trust me, I have a million different colors of green. You don't need to. This is the finger paint. This is the more acrylic paint. And so what you want to do is you take your stamp, your potato, you can dry it off on a paper towel. It'll be a little, still a little bit of moisture from it. And you get your paper, you dip your now potato stamp, into the paint, get it all covered like that, and then take your paper, take your banner, it doesn't matter, and then just simply stamp. Obviously, too much paint on that, not enough on that, but you get the idea. You can make a four-leaf clover, you can make a card, you can make a banner, you can brush off some of the paint, you can get smush it around, and you just have some fun. Finger paints, of course, very easy so to clean up. So whether you up. just want um, shamrocks all over the place and you want to make a banner, or maybe you want to make a card, it doesn't matter. You know, do a little fancy writing or regular writing. It doesn't matter. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Go crazy with the shamrocks. A little luck of the Irish. I don't know. As a grandparent, I think this would be a beautiful thing to get. And I don't think I'm alone on that. So have some fun. If you've got potatoes, right? and you've got a knife, and you've got some green paint, even green food coloring, you can absolutely do this and have some fun and think green and, and get through this snow day. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the Wolf YouTube channel because you don't want to miss other how-to videos and other things we have going on. Stay safe, stay warm, and have some fun.